He's a Sanibel resident turned New York Times best-selling author and the man behind great stories like Doc Ford. Of course, I'm talking about Randy Wayne White. And he's joining us here this morning. Welcome You're back. Courtney, great to be here. Hello, Southwest Florida. And love your lipstick, your blouse, and Thank particularly you. these oranges. I'm gonna yes, take the one. oranges are very good. I wouldn't bite yeah. into that one in particular. It's uh, very light. I don't know why. <laughs> It's TV oh, magic. Well, oh, well. Speaking of magic, I mean, your new book, Seduce. So tell me a little bit about what goes into this, the magic that comes up on the pages. It's not magic. <laughs> you sit at a desk and type. It's just a <laughs> pain in the rump. The magic right goes there. in your head, right? There's some magic <laughs> up there, I'll tell you. Uh, Seduced is the fourth uh, in the series I write mm -hmm. about fishing guide Hannah Smith. Uh, most of my novels are about a marine biologist named Doc Ford, and Doc mm -hmm. Ford does appear in this oh, novel. Oh, good. But this is the fourth Hannah Smith book. Mm -hmm. It's my favorite, I think, by far. And we haven't seen Hannah since Haunted, so she's back and better than ever. She is better, way on her game. She's amazing. I mean, and, and Doc Ford is a character that we've all become to love. So is, is he the same Doc Ford we know? Is he a little bit different? Is Hannah the same, a little bit different? Uh, he's a little bit more um, off-putting because he's in love with Hannah and oh. she won't have anything to do with him. Not that I've ever Hannah. been through anything like that in my life or anyone out there. Mm -hmm. but, no, uh, me either. <laughs> now, you did some interesting research for this yes, book. We, we have a photo of you doing your, quote, research. It. It's up there. You're hanging out with a snake. How is that research? No. Well, in Seduced, it is based on this premise, and it's, mm -hmm. it's a factual premise. Uh, Florida has gone through a terrible bout of citrus disease, mm -hmm. citrus greening, it's called. And this multi-billion dollar industry uh, the income has been cut in half in the mm -hmm. period of five or six years because of this disease. So the premise is this. When the Spaniards came to Florida mm -hmm. in the 1500s, they planted citrus seeds. That's how citrus got here. Well, I thank and them for that. It was uh, <laughs> Hannah's thought, and actually mine as well, the mm -hmm. author, that if we could find that uh, original citrus rootstock, Ooh. perhaps it would be impervious to that disease. And so the research began. and we some buddies and I went looking for these feral so-called wild citrus trees and there are a number in wow. Florida uh, because citrus if a tree grows mm -hmm. in an area where it cannot cross-pollinate with other citrus mm -hmm. the seeds produce exact duplicate clones of the original tree that's cool that's what we were looking for and where we found this tree and it does exist mm -hmm. it was overrun by pythons <gasps> hence yeah. the snake picture that's the snake picture yeah how how important to you is the factual research. I mean, the story itself kind of comes out of that, but as an author, to start with that factual research and, and going into the story, how does that process happen? Well, I take research very seriously, Courtney. Mm -hmm. I, I found out early on that if a reader finds you, catches you in an error of fact, mm -hmm. you lose some of your credibility. You're done, yeah. Yeah, even in fiction. So mm -hmm. I do a lot of research, perhaps too much. It's a great excuse for not <laughs> writing. <laughs> Are you one of those procrastinators? I'm totally like that. I have too many deadlines to procrastinate. <laughs> there you go. All right, so you've got some events coming up. Uh, yeah. Doc Ford's on Sunday. Tell us about that. Doc Ford's Rum Bar and Grill, the new one on Sandoval. Absolutely beautiful, right across from Bailey's uh, mm -hmm. uh, hardware store, Bailey's Grocery. Um, partners have built a magnificent new restaurant there. Uh, we'll do a book signing there. I'll speak briefly oh, cool. when the signing begins. I think it's at 11.30 a.m., mm -hmm. I'm not certain. Uh, take questions and then... It'll be just mayhem, wonderful and mayhem. Wonderful mayhem, I like that idea. And then of course, Barnes & Noble in Fort Myers later this week. Terrific store, yep, be a lot of people there. And again, I'll speak briefly prior to the signing and then take questions and tell jokes and I can juggle as well. He can juggle, you can do it all. Well, that's no, no, not true. It is always good having you. Is there more information on the web or, or something that we can go to to get more information about you and your books? Uh, type in my name, hard to say, easy to spell, Randy Wayne White. You'll find out more than you care to know. I love it. I don't know about that. I, I could find out a lot, lot more. But I can't wait to get into Seduce. And I think it does, along with my lipstick, look good with my shirt, the book itself. I, I hope No one's looking at the book, I guarantee you. <laughs> I always love having you, Randy. Thank you so Thank much. You. And of course, Thank if you, you missed anything, you can go to our website, fox4morningblend.com. Sound the alarms. Fire Prevention Week is in full swing. Up next, how the words, don't wait, check the date, can save the life of you or a loved one. And my favorite place to enjoy chicken and waffles has always been at Roscoe's in Hollywood. But now, you don't have to look any further than your pantry. These unique flavors are making a comeback. We've got more on that in just a few minutes.